Yo, what's going on guys, Helvetica, and today we're going to be trying to track down another one of my oil leaks in my car. If you guys don't know, my car has had an oil leak, as you can see, and I've uh, been trying to track it down. I think I fixed one of them by replacing one of the cam plugs, and now I just got to figure out where some of the other oil is coming from. So we're going to head down to Walmart, see what we got. So let's head down to Walmart and see if they have any dye for my engine so I can like, you put the dye in and then wherever it's leaking, it'll be like blue or red or green or something, a really good color to see where the oil is leaking and it'll be a lot easier to track down the leak. So let's go see if they have any of that at Walmart. And we got a G, let's park next to this G. Is that a G? That's a G35, that's like an O2. Sick car. All right. Just got to Walmart, let's go inside and take a look at what they got. Yo guys, just got out of Walmart. I'm probably gonna go to AutoZone, I'm not sure. I might just go home for now. But uh, they didn't have oil leak stop or a dye. So I picked up this OBD2 scanner anyways. It was like 20 bucks, so that's it. That's a good buy. So we're almost home, and I'm probably just gonna get something to eat, and then after I eat, I'll probably head over to AutoZone to see if they have it. So that's the plan for right now. Yo guys, I ran to AutoZone. I actually didn't even eat anything, but... This is what I bought. I don't know if that's backwards for you guys, but it's rear main seal repair, so it is an additive to stop oil leaks. I didn't, I wasn't able to find the dye. So it says to add the whole bottle, and my uh, oil level is about half, so this is not going to overfill it or anything. I'm going to add it. It says the oil leak should stop in two days or I don't know how many miles it said, but yeah, so we're going to add this thing. This is severe oil leak stop. I really hope it works. Let's go at it right now. All right, guys, so I'm going to add this stop leak right now. Let's hope this works. Uh, let's hope I don't do anything wrong here, so we're going to start adding it. Nice, 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 nice. It says to add the whole bottle. By the way, don't worry about me overfilling it. I just checked the oil earlier and added some. It's This is not going to overfill it, believe me. Believe me. So we're, we're filling it up now. Whole bottle. Come on. And perfect. Hold on, guys. We get every last drop in there. Paid $8 for this stuff. So let's hope this works. I wasn't able to find the dye like I said earlier. Whoops, there goes a bunch of oil. And, uh, yeah, so I just bought this instead. This, I'm hoping this works instead. This has, like, a higher viscosity, and I really hope this will help stop the leaks that I have. So I'm going to check the oil level right now and start it up. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but the oil level... Right there is exactly on the F mark, maybe a little bit above it. No, just on the F actually, so we're good. We have max oil in here, and let's start it up. All right, she's running. I'm going to take her around the block, drive her for a bit, and then let it idle in my driveway. So let's go do that. So I ran the car, put four miles on it, let it idle for just a little bit in the driveway. Got some sizzling going on over here, probably the coolant reservoir. I don't even know what that is, but uh, what the sizzling is, I mean. But um. So yeah, battery went down to 8 volts, so I gotta plug it in. Obviously, if you guys don't know, the reason I have to fix these oil leaks is because the oil is killing my alternator. The oil is leaking out of my engine on, onto the alternator and killing it, so this is... I'm gonna need a new alternator, obviously. Battery died, so. Car stalled when I pulled in after letting it idle for a sec, put it in drive, and it just stalled, so. Gonna let it charge up here, see what we're at. We are at 12.3 volts, so got to wait till that gets to about 12.6 before it can start again, so, yeah. And some guy on the one of my streets freaking telling me to slow down, like, dude, I was doing, like, 35, trying to get the, the oils moving through my engine, like, calm down, speed limit's 30. What are you doing, dude? Worry about yourself. But, yeah, going to let this charge up. Hopefully, uh, that oil got through it. Obviously, I'm going to have to let it run some more, put some more miles on it before the oil additive actually gets to work in there. It says, I don't, let me see how many miles says most leaks stop within 100 miles or two days of driving, so yeah. Just gotta drive some more, put some more hours on the engine. But as for right now, I'm freaking starving, so I'm gonna eat finally. Well guys, I drove the car around, let it idle for a bit. I'm gonna keep letting it idle. I should be getting a new alternator either tomorrow or the next day, which would be Friday the next day. Tomorrow's Thursday. Excuse me, but uh, yeah, so I hope this stuff works. Hope it gets in there in the seals and all that. And I uh, hope this stops my oil leak. If you guys liked this video, leave a freaking like. I want to do more car, car videos like this because I'm going to be having a lot of stuff coming up. If I do have to replace another one of my seals, it involves like removing the whole valve cover gasket. And I will do a video on that, which would be pretty awesome. But, of course, I don't want to do that because that's a lot of work. 
and money, which I don't have. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. And if you guys want to see more car videos, freaking tell me or just leave a like. Because then I know you guys enjoyed the video and made it this far. So, yeah. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.